So dear children, you are going to learn how to add and subtract the integers using a number line. So what do you actually mean by number line? So you already learnt about the a number line. So number line is a line on which you can see the positive integers and negative integers are marked in such a way that the positive integers are to the right of 0 and negative integers are to the left of 0. The positive integers are marked to the right of 0 on the number line and the negative integers are marked to the left of negative negative integers are marked to the left of 0. So it is a number line so on which you can see the positive integers to the right of 0 and negative integers to the left of 0. Positive integers are marked to the right of 0 and negative integers are marked to the left of 0. We consider the direction to the right of 0 as positive and the direction to the left of 0 as negative. Once again I repeat, the direction to the right of 0 is considered as positive and the direction to the left of 0 are considered as negative on the number line. Now you may ask how many numbers you have to mark on the number line to the right of 0 and to the left of 0 and it depends upon the numbers which are given in the problem. If the numbers are more means you have to mark more numbers on the number line. It may be difficult for you to mark more numbers on the number line. If you so keep the sheet vertically but when you keep the sheet horizontally you can uh, say draw number of uh, integers more integers to the right of zero as well as uh, left of zero that is by keeping the paper horizontally you can manage the bigger number if the numbers value of the integer is more you can manage by keeping the unruled sheet or root sheet horizontally so you'll not be having problem but if the numbers having a lesser value it is easy you can manage by mentioning the positive integers and negative integers so by keeping the sheet horizontally. So writing sheet horizontally. Now here we have to work out the answer to the following calculation. So here I have to add plus 4 and plus 3. Here in between you have plus 10. That means you have to add. Now starting with 0 as I already told that we have to move to the right if you want to move from z to the right of z 0 See, I am moving to the right direction. 4 units I am moving here because plus 4, again plus 3, again we have to move plus 3 here. So plus 4, so again from point 4 I have to move 3 divisions. So ultimately where I land, I land at this point 4, I land at this point, sorry, I land at this point that is 7, plus 7. So this is the answer. So you may think that why there is a need for uh, drawing a number line and to know the answer. Because the problem was given to work out the answer using the number line. We have to draw the number line and arrive at the answer. So if you arrive at the answer without drawing the number line. So you may not get the mass which was uh, say meant for the given problem. So when they tell you to, when they instruct you to uh, to say add using number line, you got to draw the number line and you have to add. But manually you can do very easily. See 4 plus 3 is 7. Within a fraction of second you can get the answer. But you have to draw a number line. There is other no alternative. So you have to draw the number line and arrive at the answer. Again, second one, B. 
plus 2 and plus 4. We have to add again the positive integers. Again draw a number line. Now mark the points to the right of 0 and left and mark the negative integer to the left of 0 and mark the positive to the right of 0 on the number line. Now you have plus 2. You have to move to the right plus 2. Again we are a, reach at a point 2. Again from there we have to move 4 division to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Finally where we are at? So we are at the point number. So this number is have, the this point, this point is having the value of plus 6. So answer is plus 6. So mentally we can do plus 2 and plus 4 is plus 6. Now let us move to the third. Add plus 4 and plus minus 2. Now we are adding on positive quantity and adding negative quantity. Again draw a number line. The arrow shows that the number line means it is having the direction which moves infinitely on the bow direction. There is no end. So plus 4 means you have to move plus 4 by making a use of the, the line list curved line. So plus 4 you reach here at this point having value 4. Minus you have to move leftward. We, I already told we want to move to the here leftward of 0. Neg so it is negative. Here also the direction to the left of this positive also is a negative. So negative. So minus 2. Never forget to mark the arrows direction, arrow directions. So plus 4 and minus 2. 1, 2. So finally reach at this point 2. What is the answer? Plus 2. Now in a fraction of second you can say what is the answer? 4 minus 2 is plus 2. So here you have to do some simplification. If you want to write 4 plus 7 to minus minus. So 4 minus 2 is 2. Here also plus 4 plus into plus plus 3. So here also you will write the answer 7. Now here also mentally plus 2 plus 4 because plus into plus plus. So that is 6. So mentally you can do and this is how you get the answer by drawing the number line. Now let us move for the fourth one. Now we are adding again positive and negative integers. Again draw a number line. And mark the point, positive point to the right of 0 and negative, positive integer to the right of 0 and negative integer to the right of, left of 0. You have to mark positive integer to the right of 0 and negative integers to the left of 0. To begin with you have to move plus 5, that means rightward. So from here move 5 division, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you reach at plus 5. From there you have to move left. In the left direction because this is negative. Before that you have to make a simp simplification here. Plus into minus 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 8. Before uh, using the number line we have to make a simplification. Plus into minus minus. So minus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So ultimately we reach the point having value minus 3. So what is the answer? Minus 3. Here also mentally we can get the answer. 5 minus 8 is minus 3. So dear children you have to uh, say draw a number line and arrive the answer. Don't go for the say mental calculation. Now answer is minus 3. Now that is the fifth one. Add plus 4 and minus 4. Again draw a number line. Mark positive integers to the right of 0 and negative integers to the right of, sorry, left of 0. Positive integer to the right of 0. Negative integer to the left of 0. Here you have to move plus 4 divisions. See, 1, 2, 3, 4. You arrive at this point. Show this by means of arrow because it shows the way you are move in which direction you are moving. Then minus 4 means leftward. Like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Finally, where will you arrive? At 0. What is the answer? 0. 
Here you can also show the same answer. Plus 4 plus into minus minus 4 minus 4 is 0. This is mental calculation. Now sixth problem. Add minus 2 and minus 3 here adding the negative integers. Now you have to simplify this minus 2 plus into minus 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 3. Now again draw a number line. The mark the positive integers to the right of 0. Negative integers to the left of 0. Then start in, this is the initial point. From 0 you have to start. So to begin with minus 2, 1, 2. Negative direction that is left direction. Again minus 3 from here. 1, 2, 3. Minus 3. So where do we reach? Here that is minus y. What is the answer? Minus y. So you have to add here because never multiply minus by minus. We are now are not multiplying. We are adding the negative quantity. The answer is 5. Now let us move to the 7th one. So up to 6th problem you are able to add the 2 integers. But how to add if more than 2 integers are given whether they are positive or negative. Let us learn how to add the integers, more than two integers. Now they are going to add plus two, plus three, plus one. Again, draw a number line. Mentioning the positive integers to the right of zero and negative integers to the left of zero. We have to mark positive integers to the right of zero and negative integers to the left of zero. Plus two, we have to move plus two here, right in the right direction. We reach at plus 2 again, plus 3, again 3, division 1, 2, 3. We reach to the plus 5 here at this point. Again, one day, one, you have to move to the right, plus 1. So ultimately, we reach at this point having value of plus 6. What is the answer? Plus 6. Here also you can get the answer 2 plus 3 plus 1. Because plus into plus is plus only. 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So never forget to draw number line and draw the arrows like this, curved arrow to arrive at the answer. Next, add plus 5, plus 1 and minus 3. You are adding the two positive integers and adding the negative integers. Again draw a number line in pencil and mark positive integers to the right of 0 and mark negative integers to the left of 0. This becomes a number line. Plus 5 means we have to move 5 division to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and show it by means of a curved arrow. Again from there we have to move again 1 unit to the right. Again show it by curved line. Never forget to show the curved by means of arrow. Then we have here minus 3. You may have how minus because here plus is there. 5 plus 5 plus into plus plus 1 plus into minus minus 3. So before uh, drawing uh, or showing by using number line you have to simplify this up to here minus 3. So minus 3 means you have to move the in the leftward direction 1 2 3. So right show here minus 3 you are moving leftward. So where you are at at this point having value plus 3. This is the answer. Here also you can get the answer. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. Now, ninth one. Add plus 4 plus 3 and minus 9. Again draw a number line. Again draw a number line. Mark positive integer to the right of 0 and negative integers to the left of 0. Here you have plus 4, next is plus 3 and plus into minus minus. So this simplification you have to do before showing it in the number line. Plus 4, move plus 4 divided into the right of 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, we are right here. Again next we have plus 3 here. 1, 2, 3, plus 3, we reach at 7. Again we have to move 9 division to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So ultimately we reach at the point. What is the value of that point? Minus 2. What is the answer? Minus 2. 
how to show it is minus 2 or not 4 plus 3 is 7 7 minus 9 is minus 2 because the sign of the absolute of 9 is minus so it is having a sign minus so if you take absolute means ignoring minus 9 is the bigger then what is the sign associated with that minus put it and normal subtraction you have to do but the sign you have to put the sign of the bigger numeral you have to put answer is minus 2 now 10th we shall go now add plus 3 plus minus 1 and minus 5 now you write here plus 3 plus into minus minus plus into minus minus 1 is positive and remaining 2 are negative again draw a number line and mark positive into the right of 0 and negative integers to the left of 0 to begin with plus 3 means right move 3 division to the right of 0 1 2 3 we arrive at this point 3 minus 1 means you have to move left from here to move left we arrive at this point 2 again from there you have to move minus 5 divisions to the left 1 2 3 4 5 so where do you reach at this point what is the value of this point minus 3 so answer is minus 3 so we can also simplify here plus 3 minus 1 and minus 5 minus 6 never multiply minus by minus and put plus here 3 minus 6 is minus 3 the 11th problem add plus 6 and minus 2 and minus 1 simplify this plus 6 minus 2 plus into minus minus then plus into minus minus again draw a number line mark positive into the right of 0 and negative integer to the left of 0 plus 6 means you have to move 6 division to the right of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 2 means you have to move 2 division to the left 1 2 you are at point 4 having value 4 again move 1 division to the left from 4 1 where do you reach the point having value 3 plus 3 right here plus 3 so let us simplify mentally plus 6 minus 2 and minus 1 means minus 3 if you simplify you will get plus 3 so plus 3 is the answer the last one add minus 2 minus 3 and minus 1 you write here minus 2 plus into minus minus 3 plus into minus minus now again draw a number line marking the positive to the right of 0 and negative integers to the left of 0 so minus 2 means you have to move minus 2 uh, two division to the left you arrive at this point having value minus 2 again move 3 division to the left from this point that is having value minus 2 1 2 3 you arrive at this point minus 5 again we have to move 1 division to the left so you are at uh, ultimately you arrive at this point minus 6 what is the answer minus 6 so minus 2 and minus 3 minus 5 and minus 1 you will get answer minus 6 in the beginning I already had told if you find difficulty in uh, say adding using number line having the way the value of the number is more say for example uh, plus 15 plus 14 plus 13 then the thing is that you have to keep this horizontally sheet and draw a bigger num a longer a long a longer a line having more length or more divisions you can show it on the number lines if the numbers are like 13 plus 14 minus 20 like that if you keep the sheet like this it will not be easy for you so I am suggesting you to turn the sheet like this and start uh, drawing the number line so you can show the answer or you can mark it on the number line dear children I think uh, you don't find any difficulty in understanding how to add the integers by making use of number lines they are very fundamental concepts so I think you don't find it difficult